right, uh, let's, uh, let's start on Bane, um, which is simultaneously my favorite and worst design. I like his non-powered up form the way it looks, but his powered up form, I don't get the whole red skin thing. So, able to magnify his strength through the use of chemical infusion, Bane is more than a match for the Batman in terms of strength and toughness. This is true. He broke the bat. That's his claim to fame. I never did see uh, Dark Knight Rises. Just... I just never had the feeling to. Street Party. Hulking Behemoth Bane has escaped prison and helped smash free his fellow prisoners, turning downtown Gotham City into a riot zone as prisoners and thugs join forces to loot and steal and cause general mayhem in the streets. Combat levels entail the use of the Batman's most powerful weapons, his fists. Okay, that's not as... that is... It's not a, unless you're going on the Brave and the Bold where there is hammers for justice, but you know. Build up hero moves with close combat attacks. So, like with the Mr. Freeze, you you build up the meter using that, and then you have your distance attack. Uh, okay. This is, uh, this is more what I was expecting, I guess, when I, when I first started playing this, the whole... I mean, what do you mean most powerful? I mean, I, I think being able to keep your enemies at a distance would be the most powerful, but, hey. <laughs> you know, I, I guess it's not? I've never uh, had the thing fill up to full, so let's see what happens when I do that. I wish this was uh, more than a one plane beat em up, or you know, or you could have a beat em where you walked up and down, but you know, whatever. With these things, you never look the gift horse in the mouth. It, it, it is always a bad idea. You know, it, it's... You, you take the good where you find it. And this has been really good. Like... When I think of playing the Shrek one again, it's like, ugh. Which, I mean, the Shrek one overall isn't the worst, but it was not fun, I can tell you that much. Go, 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 go. That's the version of the arrow. <laughs> arrow. Different DC property. I would actually would like, now that I think about it, I would have loved to see Green uh, Green Arrow's design in this series. Probably would have been really good. But uh, it was really Gotham-centric, which, I mean, the best Batman stuff generally is. Gotham is, is a character in itself in the series. It's really one of those... Okay, so there's no, like... Hyper special, it's just more pips. That's kind of disappointing. But. I would like to know, be able to discern more from the look of look of these. I remember the the penguin had these hench girls that were really interesting looking. Uh, they were these. Uh, Japanese girls in, in full leotards and masks that, uh, that had these claws and they moved very bird-like. Which, I mean, penguin makes sense. He was really weird in this in this series. Like, they had a full explanation for his, his combat skills, which I thought was really interesting, because Penguin generally isn't known for his combat skills, but they made him actually... Like, 
a one-on-one -on -one threat. You know, other than his umbrella tricks. You know, that's that's just it's highly unusual for uh, penguin people. That is one thing I did like in the in the new Gotham series is how vicious the penguin is. You know that he's you know he's not. He, it, it's an earlier iteration where he's definitely not this refined gangster type yet. Where he's more of a... You know, he's more of a guy trying to prove himself and is willing to do anything. And he had that weird relationship with, uh... With, uh, not yet Riddler. Which... The Riddler never gets his due, in my opinion. That he is my favorite Batman character, but you know, whatever. Whatever. People don't get him. I just like the idea that his most his mental problems are the way they are and I like the idea that his ego is his weakness, but just because generally it, it's not his skills. His skills aren't to blame. He's every bit as smart as the as Batman. Potentially even more intelligent and better at puzzles and mysteries. Uh, if you ever read the comics where he becomes a good guy for a short period of time, you, you can see that he's definitely not this... He, he definitely is less incompetent than he appears. And the idea that this guilt complex drives him. Why am I talking about Riddler when this is Bane? I don't know. I'm hoping Riddler's the special stage, but I I I, I doubt that'll happen. But uh, yeah, Bane. Uh, God, that film was terrible. I always loved the Batman Beyond uh, Slappers episode where Bane has completely destroyed his body from the venom. I know that he swore off Venom in recent comics and is like a more of an anti-hero type. Now, um, which I mean, I, I can imagine. Bane's always been definitely had a code, you know. He's not, you know. That's the thing. A lot of Batman's villains seem to have a. Co there's two variations. They're the ones that have some sort of code, and then there's the ones that don't. Like, the Joker and Hugo Strange are just completely... They have no limits. They have no lines. You know? Uh, I'd say Hush is much the same way. Uh, Hush just keeps it classy. And then you have people like Two-Face, and uh, the Riddler, and the Penguin, who all have these little, little rules. You know, things that keep them from being the Joker, basically. From being completely chaotic. Completely chaotic. I'm not even sure if you could call the Joker evil, because while he is completely aware of his own actions, he's... He, his morality is just no longer tied to anything. His intentions aren't to be evil as much as they are to just be something special, I guess, to, to prove a point. Not that the actions aren't evil, because, yeah, they are evil. I like the idea that the Joker is hyper-sane. That it's not that he's crazy, it's that he is too sane for the world. Which, I, I suppose, that's, that's a 
the main flaw of Batman's too. Which is why, you know, he, he is the way he is. He just decided to adhere to the rules. Fast lane. After questioning a writing thug, the Dark Knight discovers that Bane intends to pull a heist on Gotham City Bank and is using the riot as a diversion. The Batman signals the bat cycle of driving levels require quick reactions. Oh, not a driving level. I don't want a driving level. Bane, execute, plan, blah, blah, blah. I do like the questioning in the quotation. You know, ah, you know. Although, I've heard people talk about it before. Batman's not gonna kill you. So, I, I guess... I guess I can. I, I don't understand sometimes why people break under him just because it's like he would have to turn up the pain so much that death is preferable to break everybody to be able to break everybody, which is far crazier than killing them, in my opinion. about what they're leaving behind that. Yeah, that's weird. That, that's really weird. I don't seem to have a damage bar this time around. Not that I can see it. don't seem to accrue speed to the point that I can just escape the level. That's That sucks. I be I'm betting there is some sort of life bar that I can't see, which... That's always fun. Or maybe if you if you destroy a civilian, the level's over. Which I, I can understand that. That's generally a game over in a lot of superhero games. Just feel my infinite displeasure. Like, these aren't even hard in this, then again, the thing's not easy, but... But you see, I don't... No matter how many turbos I use, I can't catch up with him, which is annoying. So I just want to be able to try and make him crash so he stops shooting at me. I also really can't tell if how fast I go, the rate of that actually matters on the on the bottom bar, you know, the, the progress check. So, I don't know. People have a lot of the same vehicle in driving games, which... Oh, please. Watch out for the police roadblock, that's... How, how can I... Oh, I went through. I guess they're expecting you to have to go through that several times. Ugh. I always like it when there is, like, uh... Things like this, and and uh, the pattern isn't like completely straight. 
you know, where, when they drop them off, that they're, it does, it's not in a straight line of any kind. It, it, I don't know why I associate that with a higher quality game than a crappier one. I don't know. 